All right, so this is my, my pulley system right here. And the theory is that they don't, they won't crimp the cable in that corner that makes the square of those perpendicular angles. All right, so once I'm up here, there's a, what's called a thimble, all right, that, that floats itself through the eyelet of the eye bolt. And then the eye bolt obviously bolts into part of the frame that I bolted into the other part of the frame to make it nice and strong. There's really not a whole lot of weight that it's gonna be holding up, but it's a good idea just to have some uh, greater standard of, um, just, a, just a safety measure, just to make sure it's a little bit overpowered. I don't, I'd really have it, I'd really rather have it overpowered than not have enough power when, um, you know, there's like five people on the bed. You never know what's going on. So to lock the cable in place, first I have to measure down about, I guess I'm gonna do about four inches from the thimble, just to make sure I have enough room for my cable clips. Now these are zinc plated cable clips. They're about 25 or something like that. You need at least two. You can get away with one, but I wouldn't trust it. And the important part about measuring four inches down is that I have, you know, 10 feet exactly of cable on each one of these sides. So if four inches is measured out on each side, theoretically, uh, if I've centered the winch, in the very, very center of all four of these posts, either it's gonna work perfectly, or one side's gonna go a little high, and one side's gonna go a little lower, whatever, and I can just release this about an inch or two inches, whatever I need on either side to make up that slack. So, we'll see what happens when I'm actually at that point. So this is actually my actual pulley system. These are the rollers that uh, keep the cables from rubbing. Uh, theoretically, they'll just continue to roll onto this bar and that bar and not wedge themselves in the corner of that, that the two rollers that make the square. So one goes out to that side, one goes out to that side, this side, and this side. This is the one I've just done. It's the closest to the uh, front driver's side. This is gonna be the rear driver's side over there. The rear passenger side and then obviously the front passenger side over there. So it's all hooked up except for a battery. I've got to take this cable right here. This is my switch. I'm going to mount that on the, the front of the frame up this way. All right, so it's kind of the moment of truth. I was going to wait until I had better daylight, but I feel like I've gotten enough done that I can attempt to do what I got to do here. Plus, I took out the half inch spacers on all, all sides, so uh, I, what I don't want is to um, have it tied up. I'll do a test run, so so if it goes up, I can I can then slide in the spacers, lock it into place, build in my my drop supports with the, with the, the barrel bolts to keep it all in place and everything, and then it'll be much safer. I'll feel a lot better about leaving it like that. And if it fails, then it'll fail tonight, and I'll have light tomorrow to kind of fix it and work on it. So I'll work that in as justification to uh, do what I got to do. So let's see if it works. Holy crap, it's working! That is so freaking awesome. I'm gonna descend a little bit. It looks like this, uh, this side over here, the driver's side, is a little bit higher than the other side, so I'll probably, tomorrow, I'll get back in here and tighten the, uh, the, the line above the thimble. But I can't believe that worked. Well, I mean, I, I can, because in theory, it's supposed to, but I mean, yay! <laughs> ah, 
Ah, man, that is so awesome. I am so stoked that I actually did that right the first time. And it actually, it just works without, I mean, there's some play, but, but the spacers aren't in there. And this will give me room to actually put the wheels where they need to be so that when it descends, it's like totally all good. <laughs> it works exactly like it's supposed to. I can't believe it. I feel like it's got a, like it's got a break or like it's loosened up somewhere in the wrong place. That's something I didn't think about, you know, but I spent a lot of time actually working on this one. Oh my God, that is so sweet. All right, so I'm under, I'm underneath it and uh, all the cables come into this square roller section right here, just as it's supposed to. And I'm gonna let it down and hopefully we can get some of the, some of the rolling action um, in the frame. And I'm gonna duck below where the supports are just in case this thing decides to change its mind. Let's see, let's see if I can do that. So that's all the way up to the, the ceiling. And the cables aren't even really that taut. It's, I mean, actually, these two are on this side, but these are pretty loose. So I think I'll probably have to work on the passenger side tomorrow. But right now I'm gonna add some supports really quick while it's still semi-secure and fresh and take out the spacers and call it a night. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. If so, be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Construction on the tiny home is actually complete, so visit kyleodonnell.com slash blog to binge watch the build. You'll not only read my personal journals during construction, you'll also see videos covering everything from solar installation and transforming bedrooms to wiring your electronics and off-grid plumbing.